So PAX East 2019 made me appreciate indie games a whole lot more. And the best part is there are a ton of developers that are committed to bringing awesome games to the Nintendo Switch. So without further ado, let's chat about some of my favorite. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here and PAX East 2019 has come and gone and if there's one thing that this year's PAX made me do, it's really appreciate indie games a whole lot more. There were just so many games on the convention floor, way too many for me to try out, but it was clear that the Nintendo Switch was really a huge hit among developers. So from what I was able to play during my jam pack schedule, here are 5 amazing Nintendo Switch games from PAX East 2019 that I think you're really going to enjoy. So let's check them out. So first up is Heave Ho. Heave Ho is a wacky upcoming couch co-op game from Devolver Digital that's all about throwing around your friends, solving puzzles, and just making it to the end of the stage. Think of it as kind of like snipper clips complete with absurd characters and bright and vibrant graphics. This is a game I know I'm going to enjoy a little too much when it comes out. There's no release date as of yet, but rest assured this game is going to be a blast. Next up, we have Graveyard Keeper. Now, I talked a lot about Graveyard Keeper in my previous PAX East video because I actually had a full hands-on demo experience with it, and I know this is a game a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy. Graveyard Keeper is a cemetery management simulator that is basically a morbid version of Stardew Valley. There's no other way to describe it. It has retro graphics, a massive world, and there's no shortage of things to do. There's no release date for this one either, but I really can't wait for this game to make the Switch. Moving on forward, we have Little Friends dogs and cats. This is pretty much the Nintendogs game that we've always wanted on the Switch. There's really not much more to say other than you take care of and interact with virtual cats and dogs. It's a super cute game that will have you feeling all warm and fuzzy on the inside because the animals are just flat out adorable. You won't have to wait much longer for this game to come out because it comes out in May. So if you're waiting to pet virtual cats and dogs, be sure to be on the lookout for this one. Next on the list, we have Radical Rabbit Stew. This is made by the same developer as Little Friends Dogs and Cats. However, it is all about knocking intergalactic rabbits into a pot of stew. It sounds crazy and it is absolutely crazy, but this game is an absolute blast. It's a puzzle that involves strategically smacking the rabbits around obstacles, bouncing them off walls, and just trying to get them into the pot. The game gets progressively tougher and tougher as the levels go up, so this is no doubt going to be a challenging game. It doesn't come out until some time in 2020 but it is by far going to be worth the wait this is a blast of a game and finally we have cuphead this is the game that i don't think anyone ever expected in a million years to come to the switch yet here we are and it's pretty self-explanatory as to why it is on this list cuphead is a stupid hard game that resulted in a ton of broken xbox controllers due to its insane difficulty so i can't imagine what people are going to do to their switches this is like kind of a psa also as well be careful when Cuphead comes out. This game is extremely tough and we don't want to have any broken switches anywhere. We don't want to have cracked screens or anything like that. So be warned, Cuphead is coming. It's a fantastic game, but it is really, really tough. Alrighty guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Be sure to look out for more PAX East videos coming your way and more videos in general. There's a lot in the pipeline. So until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Cause I